Secret. One fantastic Friday in San Fernando, a strange man appeared on the busy street. He looked like a vagrant. He wore old rubber slippers and his shirt and pants were torn, but he carried with him a box wherever he went. He said his name was Bongo and he was homeless. He went begging at the gate of a rich man's house. The man took one look at him and let his dogs go. Well, Bongo went running. He went running straight up High Street and stopped panting in front of Republic Bank. <sighs> then he heard a voice ask, Mr. Bongo, that is you? He looked to see his friend, an old lady called Hop and Drop. Before he could say boo, Someone came out of the bank and put some coins into Hop and Drop open hands. Well, Bongo decided that he would beg for some money too from a, oh, a lady that was coming out of the bank. Well, the lady pointed her umbrella at him and said, Bantu! Bantu! That was the name of her bodyguard. Bongo didn't have much luck when begging. He spotted a popular government minister coming into the bank. He said, any help for the homeless, a dollar please? Well, the minister said, why don't you go and look for a job, you lazy bum? Bongo decided he'd try again, but this time he sat on his wooden box. A maid, who he had seen putting out rubbish by the rich man's house earlier, came across the street. Bongo said, Excuse me, anything for the homeless? I could get a dollar, please. The lady looked at him and said, Oh, you nasty! Why don't you go and clean yourself up? Huh. Next, a teacher came. She said, You should get an education. A gardener said, Ha! Big man like you, why don't you go and clean a yard? A pilot who was dressed in a blue, crisp uniform said, I work hard for my money, why should I share it with you? A soldier came marching up. You should join the army. A pensioner looked at him scornfully and said, Oh, if you had listened to your parents, you wouldn't be on the streets. A priest who was dressed in a white long gong said, Pray and ask God to change your fortune. A pundit passed by and he responded to Bongo's request. Hmm, right actions will give you good karma. A little girl passed by. Bongo said, any help for the homeless? The girl said, I only have a dollar but you can take it. <laughs> Bongo looked at the child in amazement. Her curly hair looked untidy. Uh, she had clothes on, and although they were clean, the colors were faded. What is your name? Bongo asked. My name is Mandy, she said. Where do you live? Well, before she answered, Hop and Drop answered. My know this child, I know she. She living down by the sea in a building. She mother dead and she father gone away. <gasps> Bongo looked at the child. I am Bongo and I am a wealthy man. I have been looking for, for months, for months for somebody with compassion. You need to go to school. Come with me into the bank, he said. And they went into the bank. When they got into the bank, the cashier said, Mr. Bongo, you're up to your old tricks again. <laughs> Helping out the needy. Who it is this time? Is Mandy here? She's an orphan and I want to deposit some money in her name because she was kind to me. Mr. Bongo went and he opened up his box. <gasps> money! 
If you see money in that box, he gave it to the cashier. And then he said to the bank manager, um, we need to find a good home for Mandy here. And the bank manager suggested, why don't you and Mrs. Bongo a doctor? <gasps> yes, yes, and she will be our daughter. The bank manager called up social services and they came and they took Mandy to investigate her history. Eventually, Mr. and Mrs. Bongo adopted Mandy legally and she became their daughter. She went to school, she passed all her exams, she did well in school and they were proud of her. Quick crack, wire bend, story end. Do good and good will come to you.